<laughs> How you doing? Hi. Good. Any updates? Uh, well, we got the forensic guy here. Oh, is he? <laughs> He's inside. Are you with the synagogue too, sir? Me? No, no. I'm you're, a, you're I'm a, a independent journalist, right? Independent. He's a LeBlanc. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Any updates? I can't say you know that. Oh, can't say. <laughs> any any time that they got a they got a time time frame to to for him? No, this. Oh, to fix it? No, no, that time frame. When did it happen? Uh, all we know is it happened sometime between probably eight and eight. That's all we. Got. Eight and eight. Yeah. You think it has something to connect with what's going on in Israel or just a uh, bunch of drunks? Or? So it's International Holocaust Remembrance Day today. So I would draw the line to that. Or it could be Israel. You never know with these people. Really? That's yeah. today? Yeah. So I was telling the last guy that they say International Holocaust Remembrance Day commemorates the end of the Holocaust and just liberation of Auschwitz, which is in some ways the end of the Holocaust. And to some extent, the Holocaust started with the, the Night of Broken Glass. And, I'm sure that the vandal had that in mind. Wow, I did. They were all saying it's so true. You learn something yeah. new every day. So, okay, okay. So, how does it make you feel when you see something like this? I mean, I'm always disappointed that somebody would do this, basically. Although I say I've most people, I've received a lot of positive messages from people I know who have heard about it, and they've been sending us stuff to say that it's they're, they're sad about what happened. So that's reassuring that I think that the, the at least the majority of people are, you know, yes. upset about this. How long have you been involved? Uh, so I've been well, I've been a member my whole life. Yeah. My, my father and grandfather were. Uh, my grandfather is one of the I suppose. My great grandfather is one of the founders. Wow. So and my father has been involved for quite some time. And I've been on the board for about three years now, so, or two to three years somewhere. So there. Th I presume this is the worst you've ever seen. Uh, this is the worst since I've been on the board. Apparently, uh, 10 years ago, they broke uh, some of these windows up here. And that was, uh, may have been worse. I was not as involved at the time, but uh, yeah. What did you find out? Sorry? When did you find out? Uh, looks like they just broke some glass, I don't know. Oh, when did you find out about oh. this? I don't think, I mean, I'm hopeful that they can find the person. Yo, no, you, when oh. did you find oh, out? Oh, this when? morning, I came this for the Saturday morning services. Okay. And uh, this was, well, I came a little after other people. I was a little late, um, but uh, when I showed up, the police were already here. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah, so it was uh, a little surprising. Well, I hope they find the goofball. That's what yeah. we'll call I hope, them. I hope they can find them, but to say you never, it's hard to find people who do this sort of stuff. Got a camera? No, we don't have a you camera. You never taught? No, we, we've we been no. actually talking about getting a camera. <laughs> and, Hinds uh, hindsight's a terrible thing. And uh, yeah, hindsight's a terrible thing. We've been talking the last month, debating the last month, and we're getting a camera. Think you would? We're all the, the yeah, I know. We're, they're, they're always protesting every well, Saturday. I mean, there's been a few hate crimes in uh, a few big hate crimes in Montreal and Toronto. Yeah. And a few smaller things like this that have also had a lot of small, a lot of smaller things like this. I would say. We get a lot of hate hate yeah. emails. Uh, I don't, I don't get any. No. No. no people are. Uh, well, to be honest, I, I, I only really manage the Facebook, so. Yeah. Uh, and you people, can't believe everything's on well, Facebook. No, saying, uh, if you want to, if you want to message me on Facebook, you have to, you know, have a name with you. <laughs> you can't just anonymously do it. I think City's Fine is what I taught to you. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think there's always, you know, it's, gonna be, it's always hard to identify people. Thank you very much.